Mike Pompeo sounds the alarm on China's growing nuclear capabilities, saying that they could spell disaster if left unaddressed. One America's Hans Hubbard has more. The Secretary of State urges America's allies to exert maximum pressure on China to end the ruling Communist Party's policy of secrecy on its ongoing nuclear buildup. In an op-ed Monday, Mike Pompeo warned the People's Republic of China is rapidly increasing its nuclear arsenal, all while enjoying a near total lack of accountability to the international community. He adds, China is not merely amassing nuclear-capable missiles, but is testing them at an alarming rate, citing reports from both 2018 and 2019 that show the PRC launched more missiles than the rest of the world combined and has exceeded both those numbers in 2020, firing off a total of 220 ballistic missiles in the last year alone. In response, the Trump administration has attempted to engage China in arms control negotiations, seeking to include them in discussions with Russia over the potential extension of the New START treaty, which is set to expire in February. And, and uh, we are the biggest, they are the second biggest, nuclear-wise. China's third. They're actually a distant third, but they're building pretty rapidly. It is interesting that everybody's always mentioning Russia. And uh, I don't mind you mentioning Russia, but I think probably China at this point is, uh, is uh, a nation that you should be talking about much more so than Russia, because the things that China is doing are far worse if you take a look at what's happening with uh, the world. China so far has refused to engage in good faith discussions regarding its nuclear arsenal, instead laying blame on the U.S. and Russia, saying the two nations must vastly reduce the stockpiles before Beijing will come to the negotiating table. Pompeo retorts, however, that while it is true both Russia and the U.S. have larger arsenals than China, they have willingly entered into treaties regulating their production and deployment, while Beijing seeks to operate unfettered by any international norms whatsoever. We've called on China to conform its nuclear capabilities to the strategic realities of our time. And the State Department at every level all across the world has engaged with our Chinese counterparts simply to demand fairness and reciprocity. Indeed, the Secretary of State asserts China is the least transparent out of all five permanent members of the UN Security Council, and its behavior presents an existential threat to global stability. This is exacerbated by indications Beijing is moving away from its so-called no-first-use policy, which stipulates China will not launch nuclear warheads unless it has been the victim of a nuclear attack, and is instead inching towards a launch-upon-warning paradigm under which it would authorize the use of nuclear weapons as soon as it receives any indication of a potential nuclear attack on its territory. All of this, Pompeo remarks, compounds the need to bring Beijing's nuclear program under a sustainable regulatory umbrella and ward off the danger posed by an unregulated, increasingly nuclear-capable China. We have to admit a hard truth. We must admit a hard truth that should guide us in the years and decades to come. That if we want to have a free 21st century and not the Chinese century, of which Xi Jinping dreams, the old paradigm of blind engagement with China simply won't get it done. We must not continue it, and we must not return to it. Hans Hubbard, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.